you like your plan and your doctor, you can keep them. You'll be able to keep your health care plan. If you like your plan, you keep your plan. If you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. You like your current insurance, you keep that insurance. Period. End of story. If you've got health insurance, you can keep it. If you have insurance that you like, then you will be able to keep that insurance. If you like your health care plan, you keep your health care plan. Nobody's going to force you to leave your health care plan. If you like your health care plan, you will keep your plan. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. No matter what you've heard, if you like your doctor or health care plan, you can keep it. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. If you like your private health insurance plan, you can keep it. If you like your private health insurance plan, you can keep your plan. Period. This plan will require you or your employer to change the coverage of the doctor you have. If you are among the hundreds of millions of Americans who already have insurance, nothing in my plan will require you or your employer to change the coverage or the doctor you have. If you want to keep the health insurance you got, you can keep it. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like the insurance plan you have now, you can keep it. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. So if you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your plan, keep your plan. If you like your current insurance, you will keep your current insurance. If you like your insurance plan, you will keep it. If you're happy with what you got, nobody's changing. If you're one of the more than 250 million Americans who already have health insurance, you will keep your health insurance. If you have health insurance, the only thing that changes for you is you're more secure. If you already have health care, the only thing this bill does is make sure that it's even more secure. If you've got health insurance, you keep your own insurance. Today, I, I want to speak plainly, clearly, honestly. If you already have health care, you don't have to do anything. Everyone who already has health insurance will keep the benefits and protections this law already has put into place. Period. 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 End of story. Who have or had one of these plans before the Affordable Care Act came into law? And you really like that plan. What we said was you could keep it if it hasn't changed since the laws passed. Now then this morning the president refused to accept any responsibility for not delivering on his political promises of hope and change but instead of blaming his usual culprit President George W. Bush well this time he pointed his finger at our founding fathers it's their fault listen to this what's frustrating people is is that I have not been able to force Congress to implement every aspect of what I said in 2008 well you know it turns out that uh, our founders designed a system that makes it more difficult to bring about change than I would like sometimes. Yeah, that kind of, kind of, the thing called the Constitution. Yeah. Growing call to ditch the U.S. Constitution? Who says the Supreme Court, the Supreme Law of the Land is outdated? And why? A live report coming your way next. Well, is the Supreme, is the Supreme Court the Supreme Law of the United States, but the U.S. Constitution, we learn about it and the Bill of Rights from the time we're in grade school. But there are some people who say the Constitution is no longer relevant and should be put aside. You will not see a dime of increased taxes. Not one dime. Not your payroll tax. The best idea, I think, is to raise the cap on the payroll tax. Not your income tax. Your new tax plan is going to tax me more, doesn't it? Not your capital gains tax. Why would you want to increase anybody's taxes right now? Why would you want to do that? Anyone, anyone in America, when we have such a tough time, when these small business people like Joe the Plumber are going to create jobs unless you take that money from him and spread the wealth around. I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for it. I think when you spread the wealth around. End of June, my husband lost his job, and for the first time in our whole lives, we are without health insurance. Okay, let's get back to this lady. Who said communist down here? What do you? What did you mean by that? Well, all you have to do is study it out. Just study it out, and you'll see. You haven't done your homework, buddy. And what, what do I need to study? Go to somebody else. He's a communist. And those of us who are not voting for him know it. Look, what, what Obama is proposing, uh, you've got to cut right down to it. It is socialism. It is so ugly and evil. It doesn't work. It's never worked. And we went through this in Britain until Maggie Thatcher came along and, and rescued us from a fate worse than what's going to happen here.